welcome to One North Main, BCA's award-winning magazine show. I'm your host, Nuba Redto, and today we have a special edition for you guys. We focus this summer on the Summer Work and Learning Program, a program at Brockton High School and all over the community on the importance of giving back to a city that gave so much back to our youth. Check it out. The concession team, uh, every year, we've been doing this for the past five years, pick a local organization, nonprofit organization, to donate our profits to. We've done Boxer Buddies, we've done School on Wheels. This year we chose the Boys and Girls Club. The Boys and Girls Club provide the opportunity all throughout the school year for our students to come and develop some job training skills. So they thought that this would be a good opportunity to thank them. Hi, my name is Albert. Good morning and thank you for coming today. We would like to acknowledge and thank you, Laurie Silva, the Director of Community School, Mike Owens and Mary Collins, Supervisor of Summer Work and Learning, and Diane Davis, Special Education Department Head. Hi, my name is Erica and we are Team Concessions. Our responsibilities as a member are to take daily inventory, complete a spending information form, include expenditures, daily sales, and profit and loss amount. We then prepare our stands of items to sell for the day. We sell such items as water, Gatorade, soda, chips, and other snacks. Other jobs include interacting with customers and being a cashier. Um, hey, my name is Yesenia. Um, our goal is to raise money throughout the sellings of snacks and drinks to donate to a local organizations in Brockton. In the past, we donated have been made to Boxer Buddies and School on Wheels. This year, we have to we selected the Boys and Girls Club in Brockton. Throughout the school year, they have allowed us to use their building as a job training site for us to gain a job skill. Our team is donated, honored to be donated a check in the amount of $500 to Boys and Girls Club of Brockton. Thank you. The Summer of Work and Learning program descended on Brockton High School for Summer Blast. There were many fun activities for children. All of the activities were planned, designed, and implemented by Brockton Public School students. The day was fun, but it was also a day of learning. Each activity had a learning component to it, so let's take a look and see what these students accomplished. So Summer Work and Learning has been around for 19 years now in the community. Uh, it started off as an internship program for high school students, paid an internship program for the high school students. Uh, typically they work Monday through Thursdays and then on Fridays they usually come back to us at the high school and they work on skills for professionalism, they work on resumes, cover letters, things that will help them get a jump start in the workforce. And a couple years ago we started introducing the community service component to the program and it's been a huge success. Um, it, it's just a way to remind the kids that you know we're getting so much from the community, this is the opportunity opportunity for us to say thank you and to give a little bit back. Right now we're making a miniature golf course. We are currently fighting with the wind, which is, you know, these sheets. And we're making a hole, and we hope that this turns out great. <laughs> it's like a par three, I think, right? Yeah. I think we need to make the hole one wrong. Okay. <laughs> Today is Summer Blast. This is um, the first time we're hosting an event like this. And it, we just wanted to invite kids from the Brockton community and the surrounding communities to just come out and have a good day. It's just a day to be a kid and have fun and for families to hang out together. Uh, and it's also a way for us to say thanks to the community for everything that they do. Um, it's also part of our action research plan, which is something that students in our program have to complete. 
and it allows them to do some research about a particular topic and then put it into action. So many of the different stations that our teams are hosting here today, they have an educational component to it. So the kids are not just learning or not just having fun, but they're also learning as well. Around the world, 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 world. Echo out of All right? You get two free shots. But if you answer a bonus question, you get four shots. You gotta get the matching or corresponding ball with the same color. So the black ball goes with the black thing. You get it? And then you're gonna keep running forward. You're gonna grab a water balloon. You have to throw it at that dart. Target. At the end, you're gonna get a ticket if you get through the whole thing. And the tickets, you can get a prize at the end. The obstacle course uh, was interesting. It started off with me uh, in a sack and I had to make my way over to a basketball hoop. From the basketball hoop I had to take three shots and if I missed I had to dunk. And then from there I had to go and take a ping pong ball and a spoon and go through an obstacle course and I had to make sure that I didn't drop the ping pong ball, which I did. Um, and then the hardest part for me, just because I'm a history teacher, was the math part where I had to answer a math question um, and there was a beanbag toss associated with it. Um, and then from there, I had to take water from one bucket and put it into another bucket using a sponge. So it was fun. And they timed the whole thing. So I think they have a list going of, of who's, who has the best time today. All right. That's how you do it. Is that it? That's good? Okay. Can you name any five presidents of the United States? Barack Obama. George Washington. Abraham Lincoln. George Herbert Walker Bush. Uh, Bill Clinton. Yes. Newby Rateau. I think you're good. Am I done? Yes. Do you need me to leave right now? You can go to the water. You can make a swag. Just tell me, get out of here, man. Get out of here, man. I'm Mr. Shannon. I was in charge of the silk screen or t-shirt team for the summer of work and learning in 2013. I'm Taylor Santos. I graduated in 2013 and I was a part of the t-shirt team. Hi, I'm Chelsea Holcomb. I graduated in 2014 and I was part of the t-shirt team. My name is Al Chaudhry, class 2013, revitalization team. Hi, I'm Cassandra Francois. I'm class of 2014 and I'm on the revitalization team. I'm David Omar, class of 2015, and I work with the revitalization team. My name is Shakira Moore. I'm class of 2014, and I'm part of the revitalization team. My name is Yolanda Parchment, and I'm graduating in 2014, and this is a re revitalization team. Hi, my name is Joseph Manuel, class 2016, rehab team. My name is John Harrington, team leader for the revitalization team. Hi, my name is Andrew Shula. I'm graduating 2015. I'm on the revitalization team. Hi, I'm Silas de Almeida. I'm graduating 2015 and I'm on the revitalization team. Hi, I'm Laura DiDonato, the artist for the mural team. We created a mural with a football theme at 245 Main Street, the Money Market Building, at the corner of Belmont and Main. Hi, I'm Nanette Shea and I'm the teacher on the mural crew. Hi, my name is Maria and I'll be graduating in 2016 and I'm on the mural team. Hi, I'm Jenna Thomas. I'm graduating in 2015 and I'm on the mural team. Hi, I'm Tammy Van and I'm class of 2014 and I'm on the mural team. Hi, my name is Galantia Isaac. I graduate 2015 and I am on the mural team. Hi, I'm Jordan Buster. I'm going to graduate in 2015 and I'm on the mural team. Hi, my name is Bella Osmanov. I'm the class of 2013 and I worked in the public administration team at City Hall. The Summer of Work and Learning program provides teenagers an opportunity to work. It also provides them an opportunity to give back to their community, which is what they did here at the B.B. Russell School. Students and teachers participated in a massive cleanup. They raked, renovated a playground, pulled weeds, fixed up a basketball court, and learned how important community service is. Let's take a look at what they accomplished and meet some of the participants. All right, um, 
You guys all know where you're going, right? No! You take, you take a left, you take a left, you take a right, you take a right, you take a left, you take a right, you take a left, you're there. Thank you. Um, you guys are up in that area over there. If you want to like hit the fence and stuff, the whole area needs to just be cleaned out. Um, all the supplies and everything you guys need, the paper bags or the yard waste bags. And then in the plastic bin, the milk crate, there are trash bags only for trash. Okay. As you can see, there is a lot of trash here. Um, the rehab team was here and they, believe it or not, they did clean this pretty well. And now it is back to what it was. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start along the edge, right? We have, we're probably gonna need brooms. All right, so we're gonna start on that side and we're gonna work our way in this direction. All right, you understand? So uh, well, I'm gonna get a few brooms. We're gonna start on that side and work our way over here. We're gonna try to meet this team in the center. Our goal is to change the city of Brockton. You know, and a lot of times our, our champions are referred to as the sports champions, but when you look around this park, See these kids? These are the champions. These are the kids that are getting it done. This is that next level of leadership that brings Brockton to exactly where it to be. And so, so we come out here, we sweat a little bit, you know, we, we get it done, we get down the dirt. For some of these kids, it's out of their comfort zone. All right, but for the most part, you know, it's about giving back. And that's the whole thing. All great cities. When you miss that one key component, about giving back to the city, the city falls. All right, and these kids are very serious about doing something about it. So at first, you know, you hear the moans and groans, ah, but I actually even heard one of my uh, interns here, this is kind of fun, you know? And, and then the before and after, the idea of here's what it looked like before, now look what it looks like now. We're here with AJ Palmer. Uh, AJ, quite a day today. Tell us what's happening. Well, we're here with the uh, Summer of Work and Learning program. We've got the whole program here at the, uh, the Barrett Russell School, which is gonna be a kindergarten school opening this, reopening this fall here in Brockton uh, for kindergartners. Um, and we're spending the day here cleaning up the grounds and uh, really trying to beautify the school to get ready for the school year. This playground um, essentially was a couple weeks ago full of weeds and there was a big wooden playscape that was falling down. Um, so working with the revitalization team, which is one small team in the program, we, uh, we took down the playground, we pulled all the weeds. As you can see, we leveled out all the sand and now we're adding new sand to it. Um, we also Firestone Tires down in Brockton was uh, kind enough to donate some old tires. So we're putting them in the ground back there. You can see um, we've got them in a row for kids to sort of play on something, you know, reusing, recycling some old materials, stuff that'll last a good long time. I just think back to when I had my first job as a kid in high school and how much I would have gotten out of a program like this, you know, someone supervising me, telling me the ins and outs of the workplace and how to act, how to dress, who to speak to you know, how to shake someone's hand and introduce yourself. Just things that, you know, you take for granted as an adult, but um, it's good to give kids that sort of insight into the workplace at an early age. I'm trying to clean up, I'm trying to help the school out, I'm trying to help the environment, a little bit of everything. This is the longest weed ever at the B.B. Russell School. And with persistence, the teaching team was able to extract this and others just like it. <laughs> We're here with Justin McComber, uh, graduate of the program last year. And Justin, you're back again at it. Uh, yes. Why'd you come back? Um, I thought it would be a good idea just to volunteer. I'm actually not working with them this year, but I like what they're doing and the support that they're giving to the community. I heard that they were going to do even more events this year, so I was like, Maybe I should get myself involved, show them that I'm still around, although I'm not going to be working with them. I just want them to know that I'm here and that I support what they're doing. This summer, um, our first event was the Summer Blast, everybody should know about. Um, I was in the snack booth working there. Today is a uh, summer cleanup day. We're over here I was, um, picking up the trash around the, the school, make sure that it's good so when they open it, it will be a good environment again to start over. And what year are you going into? I'm going into 2014. Oh, you're, so you're going, you're yep. an incoming senior? Yep. Uh, I got one more year of high school left. Oh, okay. What's your plan after high school? Um, I plan on going to police academy. And after that, I got so used to being in this program and the teaching team that I was on. And I started 
to, you know, like it. So now I got another job at the Huntington School that I got from the summer on work and learning. And I think after I'm done with police academy and after I'm done with law enforcement, I might do something in the teaching field. Summer work and learning, 2013. Hi, I'm Helen. I'm graduating the class of 2014. I'm from the public administration team and I work at the Brockton Senior Council on Agent. Hi, my name is Chris. I'm in class of 2014. I work for the public administration team and I work for the Brockton High School Print Shop. My name is Kyle. I work for the public administration team and I work at City Hall and um, I will graduate the class of 2013. Hi, I'm Jose Carrasquillo. I graduated 2013. I was on the public administration team and I worked at the Brockton Recycle Center. My name is Dylan Rich and I'm a college of 2014 and I'm part of public administration. Hi, my name is Jeannie Yuma and I, I'm going to graduate in 2014 and I worked at City Hall. I'm Beth Keen. I'm part of the Baker's teaching team. I'm Michelle Sweeney. I'm also part of the Baker, Baker teaching team. I'm Christina Gallant and I was with the bilingual teaching team at the Baker School. Hi, I am Nasheen Rahman and I am graduated 2015 and I am working bilingual teaching team. Hi, I'm Eden Lewis. I'm working with the bilingual teaching team and I am graduating 2014. Hello, my name is Vanessa D'Souza. I am part of the community team. I graduate in 2014. Hi, my name is Kathleen Jolliker. I worked at Little Discoveries, Inc. I'm graduating in class of 2014 now as part of the community team. Hi, my name is Ornisha. I graduate on year 2014. I worked at Little Discoveries and I'm on the community team. Hi, my name is Natalie Felix and I'm part of the community team and I just graduated 2013. Woo! My name is Marie Lazine. I was part of the community team and I'm class of 2014. Hi, my name is Janine Vasquez. And I'm part of the community team and I just graduated class of 2013. Hi, my name is Kimberly La, and I will graduate in the year 2014, and I'm part of the community team. My name is Adriana DeRocha. I am a graduate of Brockton High School 2013, and I'm part of the community team. Hi, I'm Trevor Porter, graduating 2016, and I'm on the environmental team. Hi, my name is Clifton Gehring. I'm graduating in 2016, and I'm on the environmental team. As you can see, the luncheon is about to begin and the showcase is almost at its end. And it has been great. Everybody has been showing what they did during the summer. And they see they, they are very proud of what they've done. A lot of them graduated from high school and they've done a great job. And from my experience, I enjoyed it and I'm sure they've enjoyed it. And you can see in everybody's face that they've enjoyed it. We have great kids over here, we have great projects, and we have great leaders of the future. Uh, my name is Kevin Lepont. I am the uh, community outreach coordinator for the summer work and learning. Uh, I kind of want to shout out a thank you to all to all the private businesses uh, that stepped up this year and hired some of our uh, students uh, for the program. Uh, the experience that they learn uh, in that type of setting is immense. Uh, they continue on coming back and telling us of how much uh, they love it. And um, I just want to thank all the businesses of Brockton and the area. Uh, for supporting us. My name is Ezekiel Neves. I'm on the envir environmental team and I'm class of 2013. Hi, I'm Winnie Mariska. I graduated 2014. I'm on the Baker teaching team. Hi, my name is Jeffany Altenor. I'm in class of 2014 and I was part of the Baker teaching team. Hi, my name is Omar Albert. I'm a graduate student of 2015 and I'm part of the Baker teaching team. Hi, my name is Marvin Stacant. I graduated in 2014 and I am in the environmental team. Hi, I'm Rosanna Bello. I'm graduating in 2015 and I was on the teaching team at Baker. Hi, my name is Grace Cole and I'm going to graduate in 2016 and I'm a part of the Baker teaching team. Hi, my name is Shane Renee. I graduated in 2014 and I'm a part of the teaching Baker team. Hi, I'm Elijah Leaston. I graduated in 2015 and I'm part of the Baker teaching team. Hi, my name is Chantal Copeland and I graduated class of 2013. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm part of the Baker teaching team. I can't thank everybody enough uh, for their presence here today, um, for the smiling faces that I see in return. And once again, I am just thoroughly amazed at the dedication, the professionalism, the maturity, 
and the enthusiasm that I see in our young people as they move through the Summer of Work and Learning program. I can't thank you enough for the dedication that you've shown this community in the sense that so is instilled in you that you need to give back to the city that you live in. There is a woman in this room who, when I think of her, I immediately click in my brain to, wow, she's so much like Jackie Kennedy. And that woman has shown us at the Summer Work and Learning Program. She has shown many of you as students, um, as a principal, as a guidance counselor, as a mentor, as a city-wide phenomenon in terms of giving back to the community in terms of helping us find you placements, finding you jobs. She is a member of a Rotary Club, which the whole focus of that is about gainful employment. It is about giving back to the community. It is about showing true character. So I would like to have Nancy Gustafson come on up. I love working with getting the students the jobs. I love working with the medical translation program and getting jobs for those students. I guess I'm just what you, what you call a softie at heart. I just love students. I love the, the work ethic that they have, the, the pleasure of seeing you as the seed and growing into the beautiful flower that you all are. You, you've shown yourselves in these demonstrations of what you do as projects. You've just been an absolutely phenomenon to me because you are just wonderful students. That no matter what you do in your life, wherever you go from high school, that you will come back to the city and give back. And I hope also that during the course of the time that you have left in school, that you will work to be a role model for younger people because that is the only way we are really going to make true change in the city is with all of the young people like you who have done phenomenal work this summer serving as role models for those that are younger than you. Hi, my name is Addie Mendez. I graduated in 2015 and I was part of the Baker's teaching team. Hi, my name is Jesse LaRoar. I graduate next year in 2014 and I was a part of the Baker teaching team this year. Hi, my name is Sally Milkar. I graduate in the year 2014 and I was part of the Baker teaching team. Hi, my name is Trisha Montina and I graduate in 2015 and I was a part of the Baker teaching team. Hi, my name is Brittany. I was on the business team and I graduated in 2013. Hi, my name is Tia Woodbury and I'm from the business team. And I'm still, I'm a senior at Brockton High. Hi, my name is Christy Lebrun. I'm on the business team and I will be graduating 2014. Hi, my name is Jamela Giotto. I was on the business team and I graduated this year with the class of 2013. Hi, my name is Mary Nunes and I was on the business team and I'm a rising senior. Hi, I'm Saquon Johnson. I'm part of the business team and I graduated in 2013. I'm proud to be a Brockton uh, native and I love being part of this program. My favorite aspect of the whole program is the community service. I think that the best part of it is giving back to the people. It's about letting others know that you are there for them no matter what they are facing. It's about making them praise you for all your hard work. It's about making them look forward to seeing you again, about making them happy. This program opens our eyes to notice the people around us and not only to help ourselves, but give back to the rest of the community as well. Sometimes working with different people with different age, it was one of my best experiences. I have many, many friends now in college who are very older than me. And I can say, I say thanks to Mr. Brophy because um, to say as a teenager, we all say, they're old, we don't know what to talk about with an old person, we gotta be all sophisticated, but his character and his heart brought so much in me that I was so used to being a friend, not just a coworker or anything else, but being a friend with an older person, and that helped me a lot in college because you need to know how to get through with your teachers, with your professors, with the president, if your school has one. You need to know how to get what you want, but you also need to have that person when you feel down, when you feel like you just want to give up sometimes. Sometimes they're the ones who you go to and are the best people you will ever meet. And I thank Summer Working and Learning for giving me that experience. I gotta give a special thanks to Ms. Collins and Mr. Brophy. Um, you guys are in my heart, forever in my heart. We'll never forget you guys. 
And due to you guys, I will never forget someone working and learning. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. Hi, I'm Naeem Thomas. I'm part of the business team. I graduated in 2015. Um, I'm Nia Gandre. I'm graduating 2014, and I'm on the business team. My name is Asia. I'm graduating in 2015, and I'm on the business team. My name's Adrian. I'm graduating 2015, and I'm part of the business team. My name is Mochika Katsu. I graduated this year, and I'm on the business team. My name is Vanessa Correa. I'm class of 2014, and I'm part of the business team. My name is Cynthia Delavanti. I'm class of 2014, and I'm a part of the business team. Hi, I'm Erica Montero, and um, I go to the Brockton High School. I'm and I'm with the concussion stand, and um, I graduate 2014. Hi, my name is Siegel Torres. I'm from Brockton High School. I'm a senior, and I, I do uh, the cashier stand in Brockton High. Hi, I'm Yesenia Rivera. I graduated back in um, 2012. I'm the concession stand, and we're doing a lot of good things for the, for the Boys and Girls Club and the Boxing Buddies. Hi, my name is Albert, and um, I graduate 2014, and I'm the session stand team. Hi, I'm Cassie Spatola. This is Jean Han. We were the team leaders for the concession stand at BHS. Um, the students did a very, great very job. great job. Um, they were able to raise um, lots of money to donate to two organizations here in the community. Hi, I'm Kincaid. I graduate in 2016, and I'm part of the BHS team. Hi, I'm Dominique Coley. I am graduating in 2014, and I work for the BHS team. Hello, I'm Miriam Lindsay, and I'm graduating with 2014, and I'm part of the BHS team. Hello, my name is Falashad Adeshira, and I'm the graduating class of 2013, and I'm the BHS team. Hi, I'm Rena Lindsay, I'm class of 2014, and I'm working with the Brockton High School team. Hi, I'm Saisha, I graduate 2015, and I work with the BHS team. Hi, my name is Heidi Rivera. I'm class of 2016 and I work on the BHS team. Hi, I'm Lori Simprius. I'm graduating in 2015 and I'm part of the BHS team. Hi, I'm Jody Forges. I'm class of 2014 and I'm on the BHS team. Woo! I've seen him grow up. I know his mother, his father, his aunt, and uh, it great, gives me great, great pleasure to announce Ryan Foley as this year's Rainbow's <laughs> Scholarship Award. We got all kinds of accolades from all over the Baker School about your participation in the program from both all four principals there, your classroom teacher, the custodians. I mean, it, it, it just, it never stopped coming, all of the accolades. You, you touched a lot of hearts there, and I'm not sure you're aware of it, but that was very clear. Um, your teacher, Ms. Bibby, made it very clear that you were uh, very, um, you, you were very a structural piece in the, in the classroom and that your participation was critical. And she wasn't even your specific teacher. She came and witnessed you working with some of her kids in the cafeteria and came to tell me that afterward. So it, it just goes to show you that you don't always know the impact that you have on other people. So congratulations. This was Thank well you. earned. work and learning. What an amazing program. Well, that'll do it for another episode of One North Main. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or compliments, you can email us at oneanet at bcatv.org or check out our website at bcatv.org. And be sure to check out our YouTube page, youtube.com backslash the Brockton channels, all one word. Forever from One North Main, I'm Nubaretto. We'll see you next time.